According to the IRS, any one of these telltale signs could mean you're the victim of tax-related identity theft. The IRS contacts you about a tax return you didn't file. You're blocked when you try to e-file your tax return because the IRS already received the tax return with your or your child's social security number. You receive a tax transcript you didn't request. The IRS notifies you about online IRS accounts that you didn't create. You receive an IRS notice that your existing online account has been accessed or disabled when you've taken no action. The IRS says you owe additional taxes or have a refund offset, or that you've had collection actions taken against you for a year you didn't file a tax return. IRS records indicate you received wages or other income from an employer you didn't work for or your refund didn't show up. If you receive a notice, respond immediately, but independently confirm the correct IRS phone number and dial it yourself. If your e-file return is rejected due to duplicate filing, go to irs.gov, download and complete IRS Form 14039, attach it to a hard copy of your return, and mail it to the appropriate address on the return. Protect your computer and your mobile device. Use security software that offers virus and malware protection and a firewall, preferably that updates automatically. Encrypt sensitive data. Properly secure sensitive information. Password protocol is essential. Use long and strong passwords unique to your accounts, or better yet, get a password manager. Use multi-factor authentication. Only provide sensitive information over encrypted websites. Back up your files. You even may be eligible for a PIN number for added protection. Beware the quartet of ishings. Generic email phishing blasts, spear phishing, vishing, which is phone-based phishing, and smishing, which is text-based phishing. Always remember, the IRS will never initiate contact with you by email, phone, text, or social media.